I am Optimus Prime, and I send this message to any surviving Autobots. Oh wait, wrong robots. Today we are reviewing the Terminator. Good evening everyone. If you don't know, you should know. My name is Ramiz Khan, and I am a filmmaker and a film critic. And today's movie is the fifth installment in the fabled Terminator franchise, one of my favorite movie franchises of all time, Terminator Genesis. Oh wait, that is supposed to be Genesis. Hollywood, learn how to spell, please. Before we get started with this review, I have a slight problem with the PG-13 rating of this film. Why is it that a male person's ass is PG-13, but when a woman shows her ass, it's not PG-13? That is a big problem. I am sick of seeing Arnold Schwarzenegger's butt and Jay Courtney's ass in the Terminator movies. I don't want to see it. Show me Amelia Clark's butt in the next movie, please. Now let's get started with this review. This film stars Jason Clark, Amelia Clark, Jay Courtney, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. It is the fifth movie in the Terminator franchise. The last one came out in 2009, which was called Terminator Salvation. This one's called Terminator Genesis, and it takes place in three different time periods, 1984, 1973 and 2017. See, that is the biggest problem for me with this franchise now. Ever since Terminator 2 came out, I wanted to see the war. Everyone, everyone and his, his or her mother wanted to see the war already. No more time travel. This is yet another time travel movie. But there are some benefits to this. This is better than Terminator 3 and 4. Now, there are strengths and weaknesses of the film. The strengths are Jason Clark is extremely charismatic as John Connor and stoic at the same time. If you've seen the trailer, the trailer's Hollywood's beautiful marketing gave away the biggest plot twist in the fucking movie, which annoys me, that J John Connor is a Terminator. That's not Jason Clark's fault, though. Jason Clark is fantastic. I'm not going to take anything away from his performance. So yeah, Jason Clark is fantastic. So is Jay Courtney. Jay Courtney I cannot stand for some reason because Hollywood is pushing him down our throats. And I don't like when stuff is pushed down my throat. It sounded weird. But Jay Courtney, I do not like him. But he's tolerable in this movie. He's not that bad, actually. And part of that comes from possibly Emilia Clarke being absolutely atrocious. She is terrible in this film. Uh, this is not Sarah. Con this is not the Sarah Connor I know. And don't give me that crap that oh, this is a different Sarah Connor because she's changed. No, 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 no. Sarah Connor is a pop culture icon along with the T-1000. She's burnt into our brains as being a badass. Emilia Clarke is anything but a badass. Plus, to add to that, she's extremely wooden. Like it's atrocious watching her act. It's like. Oh my god, please stop. I don't want to look at her. I want to look at your boobs, but I do not want to look at your face when you're acting. And that sucks because Amelia Clark is extremely pretty. But she's really, really, really tough to watch as Sarah Connor in this film. And that's really sad because she's a good actress. So yeah, a ton of mumbo jumbo happens and it turns out that John Connor has become a Terminator now. It's up to Sarah Connor, Kyle Reese, and Arnold to stop John Connor from becoming a, a massive uh, bad guy. This film is a visual medium. Use it. Show! Don't tell! In this film, these guys are s telling us the plot instead of showing it to us. I remember this one massive plot thread Arnold's talking about. He's, using, he's even using big words like nexus point. I do not know what a nexus point is unless you show it to me. So that was annoying that Arnold just skimmed through that. He's like, yes, this is a nexus point, blah, 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 blah. Uh, what am I supposed to know? This script would have been perfect for a video game. I mean, look at the, you have the title already, Terminator Genesis with a Y. So yeah, a poor script, just satisfying action, and horrible acting makes this a decent Terminator film, actually. The past two Terminator films were absolutely horrendous, so maybe I've stopped looking forward to them, maybe that's why I enjoyed this one. Let's face it, the trailers look terrible. I have to give this film a decent score of 2.5 out of 5. This is not a bad movie, but I'm not going to go tell you to go watch this movie. Stay home, watch Terminator 1 and 2 instead. Thank you for watching, everyone. You have a wonderful night, and remember to love yourself. I will see you beautiful people once again next week 